God is responsible for setting and executing the strategic directions of all aspects of business uh, areas, uh, banking, and uh, since joining the TV in 1992, he has held numerous senior management roles within the TV Bank Group. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Scott Gamble to speak. Scott. sound, I think, a little bit more important than I am. Uh, so good morning and welcome uh, to the City of Toronto Small Business Forum, a celebration of small business entrepreneurs. My name is Scott Gamble. Uh, I have the privilege of leading the small business segment at TD. We have over 500 account managers, uh, small business, working hard every day in communities across Canada, helping small businesses do big things. October is Small Business Month for TD Bank. During this time, we celebrate small business, banking customers, and this year, TD is doing a lot to celebrate. TD will be hosting and taking part in some great regional events across Canada, and to thank our customers and build relationships with new ones. This includes the City of Toronto Small Business Forum, which in 2016 uh, is marking six years of TD support. As the councillor indicated, small businesses do drive economic growth and innovation. Small and medium-sized businesses, uh, enterprises account for 99% of Canadian businesses. So what that means is, nine out of every 10 Canadians working in private sector work for a small or medium-sized enterprise. At TD, we are committed to helping our small business customers grow every way we can. This morning, I have the pleasure of introducing our opening keynote speaker, Diana Goodwin. I have to tell you, as I was reading through uh, Diana's bio, I couldn't help but feel a little inadequate this morning. Um, and you'll, you'll understand why when I get to the, uh, get to the punchline there. Um, that wasn't the punchline. Um, Diana is CEO and founder of Aquamobile, the largest on-demand at-home swim school in North America. Aquamobile uses cutting-edge technology that allows customers to go online, key in their pool address, and be matched up with a certified instructor who will travel to their home. But here's the thing, Diana started Aquamobile at the age of 19. On a shoestring budget, and she's grown her business internationally, becoming a leader in her industry. Diana has been profiled in many print publications, including Forbes, and has won numerous business awards, including Emerging Entrepreneur of the Year and the 100,000 Small Business Challenge. Today, Diana will share her story and provide tips on how bootstrapping helps her optimize limited resources, allowing her to grow and thrive in a changing marketplace. Please join me in welcoming Diana to the stage. spring day in May 2015. I woke up, I put on a blue dress, and I headed to the CBC studios in downtown Toronto. Once I got there, they did my hair and makeup, and then they put me in a room where I sat alone for hours with a box of Tim Hortons donuts. Eventually though, someone came and got me and told me it was go time. So they put a microphone on me, and they sent me to the top of a metal staircase. Once the producer said go, I knew the cameras were rolling. It was eerily silent, except for the sound of my shoes as I walked across the metal platform. My legs were shaking profusely, and I was so paranoid that I was going to face plant in front of the dragons. But I finally made my way down to the bottom of the stairs, and I looked up, and I was staring at five icons of the Canadian business world, the dragons. I was extremely honored to have been invited to pitch on CBC's award-winning program, Dragon's Den, a show with over one million viewers per week. What do you think the full potential is? I don't see why we can't go north of $30 million. You're a one-woman show. Yeah. Very impressive. I'm that kind of girl.
And so, after lots of practice and agonizing over the smallest details, my name is Diana Goodwin and I'm from Toronto, Ontario. I'm the president and founder of Aquamobile Swim School. Today, I'm seeking a $200,000 investment in exchange for a 10% equity stake in my company. After spending over an hour in the hot seat, here's what happened. You know, I, I do a lot of business states and I'm also in Mexico now. We do have an office in Dallas if you wanted to work out of there, so I'll make you an offer of uh, 200000 for 10%. 10%. Thank you, Jim. Um, I do believe that you do have two great offers on the table. I'm going to be out. Thank you. Thanks. I think the deal's great. I think you're great. I don't know. I, I can't better Jim's deal. No. And you can offer so the same. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, we can uh, do the deals together. And then you get two dragons. Okay. I mean, what we could do, you could have two dragons for 15% or one dragon for a 10% equity deal. Yeah. Are you in on that? Yeah. That's what fine. would you like to do? So, what did I do? with one dragon offering me exactly what I'd asked for and two dragons willing to join forces for 15% of my company. This is a very hard decision, um, but Jim has given me you know, exactly what, what I've asked for and Jim, I think you would you know, make a great partner. Thank and you. so, great. yes, I, I'd it. love to work with you. Thank well, you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, well, you, well, you, well, you, well, you well, Michelle and Joe. Thank job. you so much. Well, and best of people, that's what I do. Thank you. And you're a great one. All right. Thank you. Thank you, well, everyone. Well, thank you. Well, Bye. Well done, Diana. Great person. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> So I was extremely excited to have been offered a deal by such an amazing dragon. Um, but a lot happens after the cameras stop rolling. Not everything is as it seems on TV. But I'll get back to that in a little while. In the meantime, I ended up getting more publicity than I ever dreamed of. I ended up being featured in publications including Inc., Forbes, Huffington Post, Financial Post, the Globe and Mail, and Tech Vibes, to name